That's it. I can't take it anymore. Going back to blonde. And I will be cutting myself a bob haircut. Hi everyone, I'm Eva Lorman. I'm a master and teacher of the beauty industry. So here go, friends. I've already done a test trend. I will be using lightening powder and 10 volumes of oxidant. It's tough on the hair, but I have no other choice. Being blonde is a state of the soul. I take one, two, three, four. It turned out to be 90 grams, adding the oxidant. Mixing thoroughly, I need to wash the top layer. The length of my hair was previously lightened, so there should not be any issue with it. I dyed the roots three times, so there might be question about them. All right, let's go. Applying the powder in a quadric manner in a large quantity. And I am getting a haircut as well. The hair in the powder should literally be floating. As I suspected, the length of the hair is lighter than the root. I will clarify a bit. I mixed the powder not only with 10 volumes of oxidant, but also with 5 volumes. Even 10 volumes of oxidant for the length will be bad. I will set a timer for 10 minutes and wash my hair. So, one third of the work is done. Now I need to additionally lighten this color, Bloom from Wings Club. I will be using 10 volumes of oxidant. Taking 4 
45 grams of powder and 90 grams of 10 volumes of oxidant. Mixing thoroughly, this amount will be enough only for the occipital area. I will go apply the mixture in front of the mirror. Then I will be back. I will apply the mixture at the back. I am preparing another mixture. 40 grams of powder and 80 grams of 10 volumes of oxidant. Mixing thoroughly and start applying the mixture. set a timer for 20 minutes. Can't leave it on for longer. Oh, hair is in place. Still, there is a copper tone present, but I will decide it not to lighten it further. I will start the toning process. Let's begin the toning. I will be using the 9.16 dye, which effectively neutralizes yellow tones. In the future, I want to be a natural blonde, not ashy. So, I am mixing 9.16 with 9.0 to dilute the intensity of 9.16. I did Additionally, as a darken agent, I'll use 6.0. Since I don't want an ashy tone on the lens, I'll apply 10.0 to the lens of the hair. I begin mixing the dye. 9.0, 50 grams, 9.16, 15 grams, and 6.0. 10 grams plus 70 grams of 10 volumes of oxidant. Mixing thoroughly. I will start be applying the dye to the occipital area and then come back. I've already applied it at the back, now the top section.
Let's do everything very carefully. I've applied the mixture. Now I will start working on the length of the hair. I am preparing the mixture. 30 grams of 10.0 plus 45 grams of 5 volumes of oxidant. I will start by applying it to the occipital area. I've already applied to the occipital area. Now I am applying it to the lens. We don't overlap onto the dark dye and don't straight it. The processing time is 15 minutes. The time is up and I am going to wash my hair. Before cutting, I will apply a mask to the hair. I've applied, now we can start cutting. The hair has grown well. I need to cut along this straight line. I am cutting with my favorite scissors. I will be cutting blindly. Now I will use tanning scissor to texture the hair. These two points are not connected yet, but a month the hair will grow and I will be able to create a longer bob. The hair at the nape is curly. It's not clear yet if it's even or not. The hair is curling in just one spot, so it takes a while to make it even. Finished evening out. Now I need to shave the hair at the nape. Seems even. Checked everything, it's time to go wash my hair. We've done the main cut, I need to wash my hair, dry it and then refine the haircut. It's a ground out style, so it's not clear how it turned out yet. I am going to wash my hair now. So, washing hair with makeup on is a quest. Before drying, I will apply a hair growth spray. I am starting to dry my hair. When the hair is almost dry, I take a round brush.
I also showed how to style the hair. Look at the what I wanted to show you. Everything is good here, but here is a bubble. I do it like this. Hair in its natural fall. And I observe here the hair lies evenly, but here there is more of it. This area needs to be thinned out. I come through the hair. What do I see? I slightly remove the triangles. These are remnants from my previous haircut. I had a pixie cup haircut and it has these triangle shapes at the edges. Now I smoothly remove these triangles. Here is the place that I don't like. Remove the triangle. I removed the triangles, but now I will have to do some texturing. Preferably precisely. We don't touch the top strand because they are already thin. Better now, but let's not overdo it. Now let me show you the nape. This is how the nape looks. Here are some hairs that should not be touched. They are quite short. The lower hairs also should not be thinned out, otherwise they won't curl evenly. If you thin out the hair too much, it will stick out. Wow, I am a blonde with a bob again. I am so happy, it's perfect. Look at the difference. Blonde suit me even better. I hope the video is useful for you. Subscribe to the channel, just click on the bell, and I will make a video for you on this channel and show you all the subtleties of a master and teacher of the beauty industry. Bye bye, everyone. Yeva Lorman was with you. See you in more new videos. Hey, people, get together, like it, and Subscribe. I will be with you forever, feel the beauty vibe, half to cut and half to dye. Hairdresser, yo, it's mine, don't forget to press the bell, you will love it.